Hi everyone, welcome to my Facebook Live this week. My name's Mandy Witherby and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Sydney, Australia. I, I hope to see lots of you here today so that we can have some fun. I've got some brand new product again this week to share with you, so that's always exciting. Um, so as you're jumping on, say hi, let me know that you're here. Um, if you're, you see the live, the red live um, button up the top, hang on, let me get it right here, you know that I'm live. Um, if you're watching the replay later, thank you for watching the replay. Just let me know in the comments, just type in replay so I know that you've seen it. Or you may be watching this back later on on YouTube, on my YouTube channel then um, please be sure to click subscribe and click on the little bell icon as well so that you'll be notified every time I put up a new video. So say hi as you're jumping on so that I know that you're here. While I'm waiting for everyone to jump on, I'll just pull this up on my iPad so that I can see all of your comments. Okay, let's get this happening. All right, there we go. Great, good. Now I can see all the comments coming up. So say hi, let me know where you're watching from if you're watching for the first time today. Uh, hi Tracy, great to see you. How are you? How's your day been? So yeah, jump on, I've got lots of things to tell you new products to show you. I got another delivery, um, I think it was Thursday actually. Yeah, it was Thursday, but I actually didn't get a chance to unpack um, it until yesterday. So it was sitting there for a few days. I've had a very busy few days and I was itching to open that box and to play with all my new products. It's always like Christmas every time you get a big brown box full of de delivery um, products. Pretty good, that's great, Tracy. Great to hear. So um, yes, and today I just got another delivery, a smaller one delivered. So um, another exciting box to open later on. Haven't opened it yet. I've had a very busy morning running around. Um, little Molly, our little Shih Tzu, she had grooming today. So I had to take her to the groomer and then go back and pick her up and then had an appointment in there and then had to go to the post office and I've done a big post today of lots of parcels and also to uh, where have I put it our beginner brochure um, to those of you who are my customers um, I did get these finally out in the post today so I was a little bit delayed getting them out I couldn't get to the post office last week uh, it was just too hectic uh, with work and everything, um, but I did get them all in the post today. So you'll be, um, you should be expecting those in the next few days. All right, so I'll jump right in and um, start on some of the news. And as people are joining us, um, continue to say hi and let me know that you're here. Um, but yeah, I'll get on to the news now. Now. Um, Last week, I think it was, I mentioned that our brand new adhesive called, let me get it right, Stamp and Seal and Stamp and Seal Plus, Plus was still unavailable, but it is now available for purchase. So you can order that. Um, I'm pop popping in my order for that tonight, actually. So today during our crafting session, I'll just be using the old retired um, snail adhesive, but that's no longer available. So I'm excited to get the new stamp and seal and um, have a play with that and see how that works. And um, I believe that it's a stronger adhesive. Um, so yeah, so it'll be good to have a play with that once I get that. Um, so that is now available also too in our um, making beautiful things, oh, sorry, make beautiful things brochure. I mentioned last week that um, the Four Seasons Floral card, um, uh, comp, uh, what do you call it? Combination, like product combination was unavailable, but this is now available as well. So all of those products are now in stock. So you can um, order those and you can purchase each of these items in 
um, this brochure and there's quite a few pages of different products in this brochure you can order them individually or if you like um, what you see you like all of those products as shown over here and you like these sample cards here if you want to make those and you want to purchase all of those products to make all of those cards um, you can just use the one code which you'll find up the top here um, to order all of those products and so there's a few other um, there's a few other sets in there as well some of the stamp sets in here so those first two I've shown you they are only in um, this brochure but then we've got the little zebras and the little zebras they are available from our annual catalog as well but the beauty about them in this brochure is that you've got the compilation of products there if you want to get all of those products to make these sample cards over here then you can get all of those with one code that it is, is at the top of the page there and that one also includes um, watercolor pencils as well watercolor pencils are fantastic to work with I love them they're so great and same with this one here too and this one for these cards and envelopes here it uses the there it is there the stamp and write markers the new in color stamp and write markers so again if you like that one you can get all of those products together using the one code which you find up the top here or you can order the individual products oh hey danielle how are you um danielle i was just showing everybody the make beautiful things brochure um, I'm going to give one of those to um, your sister this week to pass on to you. So you'll be able to have one of those as well. There's some beautiful products in there. And then at the back, we've got one of our kits as well. So this kit is also available in our annual catalogue, um, but it's in this brochure as well. So the products in here are great for new stampers that are just getting going because you've got that... Um, compilation of products there or collection of products there that you know you can just put in the one code and you can get that collection of um, products that'll get you started and you'll be able to start making cards straight away with those um, products so this is a great brochure for that hi Athena how are you you won't be able to stay too long oh you'll catch the rest on the replay no worries thanks Athena great to have you here for as long as you can be Okay. Oh, that's good, Danielle. Fantastic. Oh, you're very welcome. Yeah, I think you I think you'll really like this one. I think you'll like this one. And those zebras, they are so adorable. Okay. Um so that's that one. Now, the other thing is to um we have two promotions that are running at the moment and I mentioned them last week. Um, the first one is a joining promotion when you purchase your starter kit. So it's a, a starter kit promotion, starter kit joining promotion, same thing. Um, it's called Pick a Free Bundle Starter Kit Promotion. Now with that one, um, when you join Stampin' Up, you um, can choose $235 worth of product, but you only pay $169. So that additional $66 worth of product, you get that for free. And you can choose whatever you want to put into your starter kit. Now, um, on top of that, or plus you get free shipping, by the way, on your starter kit. Now, on top of that, at the moment, until the 30th of June, you can also choose a free bundle. So it can be a stamp set and punch bundle. It can be a stamp set and die bundle. And it doesn't matter which one. You can choose the most expensive one if you want to. And you will get that free as well as all of the products that you're getting in your starter kit. So if you would like more information about joining my team, my team are the Paper Craft Gems. If you would like more information about joining my team, please get in contact with me and I'd love to have a chat with you about that. Or you can go to my joining, um, there is a joining link uh, on my blog, which is mandyspapercraftcreations.blogspot.com. And you just can just click on the link there if, if you think, oh yeah, I'm going to go and do that. No, I don't need to speak to Mandy about it. I'm just going to go and do it. You can go straight there. Feel free to do that. But if you would like more information, please chat to me about it. And I can give you more information about um, becoming part of my team, what that looks like, 
Um, there's no expectation that you will sell to um, anybody else. If you want to just purchase the products just for yourself, for your own crafting habit, um, habit, <laughs> hobby or habit, depending on which way you look at it, then um, you're very welcome to do that. Stampin' Up! doesn't pressure you to sell. I don't pressure you to sell. Um, I'm just happy for you to be able to receive the 20% discount, which is what you'll receive as a demonstrator. So um, you can become a happy shopper or a discount shopper, depending on which way, well, you could be a happy discount shopper and get that 20% discount um, when you join my team. So let me know if you'd like more information about that one. Oh, hi, Sharon, great to see you. Happy Monday, yes. Oh yes, be a discount shopper, definitely. Definitely, definitely, so much fun being a discount shopper, um, as we know. <laughs> The other promotion that is running at the moment is this one. It's called the Annual Catalogue Kickoff Celebration. Exactly. Happy discount shopper because us discount shoppers, we are all very happy. We're happy to do that. <laughs> Who doesn't want to get a bargain, right? <laughs> um, so with this one here, this one is for qualifying sales um, or purchases. So um, ordinarily, when you purchase or if you have a party or a workshop and you um, have orders there might be you might have a group of friends you might even want to just show your catalog to friends and not have a party as such but you might just want to show your catalog to friends or family see if they'd like anything you can put them together put them in together with your order and then um, if you get over $250 in orders or sales, then uh, you will be eligible to receive Stampin' Rewards. So Stampin' Rewards are for those that have orders over $250 and you get a percentage of sales. Now, in your annual catalogue, so this is our beautiful annual catalogue, and I have mine spiral bound. So um, yes, unless you've taken yours to Officeworks or Stationers to have it spiral bound, um, whoops, and it falls everywhere. Um, yeah, it won't have this. I've just had that added to it and the plastic front cover, which reflects terribly on camera. <laughs> um, so in your catalogue, if you go to pages 186 and 187, it talks to you there about um, hosting and what you can earn when you host. Now, not only when you host, but also if you have big sales. So if you just um, gather those sales, as I said, or you might have a huge wish list and put in a big order yourself, it shows you on page 187, up the top here, what you can earn in freebies when you have qualifying sales. Now on top of that, that's what this promotion is about. So with, if your sales go up even further, over $400, not only do you get what you're eligible for with the Stampin' Rewards, but you will get an additional $40. So this is in Australian dollars. You'll get an additional $40 to spend on product of your choice. So that's really exciting as well. So that is on top of your ordinary Stampin' Rewards. So if you've got other friends that are interested in Stampin' Up! that you might think might like to have a look at the catalogue, if they don't already have one and they would like one, let me know. I'd love to send one out to them. Um, and gather those orders together and um, let me know, or you can pop them in on my online store, then you'll be eligible for all those additional freebies as well. So freebies are awesome, aren't they? <laughs> all right, we've got a couple more jumping on. Hi, Chitska. Hi, Chris. Great to see you both. Thank you for joining me today. Alrighty, so I think they are all the promotions and all the things I wanted to let you know at the moment. Now, don't forget that um, I have my Technique Club every month as well. So if you'd like information about my Technique Club and about joining my Technique Club, um, at the moment, I'm running it month to month. There's no lock-in period at this stage just because of um, COVID-19 and you know it being a difficult time for some. Um, I didn't want to lock people in for a prolonged time. My original club did have a six month commitment um, and down the track I may go back to that. But at this stage, it's just going month to month so you can join in any month that you like. 
the one for this month, the um, RSVP and ordering date has already closed. Hey Julie, great to see you. Danielle's watching here too. Um, and yes, so you are welcome to join in on any of those months that you would like. So my June Technique Club is already closed, but each month I will um, promote a new one. Now, if you would like more information about that or you would like to join in my classes and workshop group page, it's a private group page, let me know. Um, send me, perhaps send me a private message because often Facebook hide some of these comments when I go back to look at the comments I can't always see all of them no matter if I check on my um, laptop or on my iPad I can't always see all of them for some reason it hides some of them I don't know why it does that but yeah send me a private message and I can add you into that group and then you'll be updated with any classes that I run, my technique club and any other special events that I'm running as well. Um, I don't always post all of those on my business page here. Um, it just depends on what the event is. So, but they're all definitely in that private group. So let me know if you're interested in that and I can add you in there. Um, okay, so I think we are ready. So if you're just jumping on now, um, you might what, like to watch the replay later on to see the beginning part of all the exciting news that I shared with everybody. Um, so right now I'm going to, let me just see if I've forgotten anything else. No, just always remember too that I have my YouTube channel. So I'd love it. I'd really, really appreciate your support if you jumped over to my YouTube channel and um, clicked on subscribed and followed me over there. And then click on the bell icon as well so that you see any notifications when I post um, new content there as well. That would be wonderful. Thank you. Um, and it's just in my name, Mandy Witherby. So it's very easy to find. Just go over there and just do a search. Um, if Amber's online, she might even, I'm not sure if she's got the, um, the link actually, but what I'll do is I'll put the link up, um, in the description of this video on Facebook at the end. I'll put my link there as well for YouTube. All right. I think we are ready to get crafting. So of course, don't forget about our beautiful annual catalogue and that is what we're going to be looking at today. Um, we're going to be playing with some new product out of that. Uh, and if you don't already have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator that you're working with and you would like one of these beautiful catalogues and also one of our Make Beautiful Things brochures, which has additional product in it, please let me know and I'd love to get those out to you. Okay, so let me, now I've just lost my page. Let me see if I can remember what page I was on. <laughs> so I was going to show you. All right, so we are going to be playing with patterns today. So we are going to be playing with this gorgeous suite, playing with patterns. And there are so many things in this. Let me turn the page over this way. There's so many beautiful, bright and fun um, patterns in this suite. And we've got alphabet dies. Oh my goodness, we've got alphabet dies. I'm so excited about that. Um, so we're going to be playing with those. And this is the other page as well, which shows you the stamp set and some more samples there too. So that is what we're going to be playing with today. So let me get everything set up here ready for you. And we will get started. Okay. Alrighty. So what I'm going to do is I will cover up the camera and I'll flip the camera down to the desktop so that you can see um, everything that I'm creating there. So just give me a moment while, whoops, I'll get my very technical washi tape to cover up my camera <laughs> so I don't make you all dizzy as I flip down. So just give me a moment while I get everything set up for you. Okay. Alrighty. Lights. We've got our lights, we've got the camera, action. Let's see how crooked or straight did I get. I think it's a bit crooked actually. Let me straighten that up. Alrighty. Give a few little tweaks there to get it nice and straight. 
Now I am zoomed in quite close today. I may need to um, take it back up. I'll just move that mat over. Yeah, I am zoomed in a little bit close, so I might just take the camera up a bit. So just give me a moment. Sorry, it might shake a tad while I do that. I can't zoom out while I'm on a Facebook Live, so I literally have to um, move my stand arm up. So it's a little bit clunky, but there we go. All right, so let's see how that looks. All right, so there is my blog. So that is where you will find my online store is via my blog. So if you just go to mandyspapercraftcreations.blogspot.com and then up on the top left hand side you will see the shop um, button and if you click on that shop button it'll take you straight through to my online store. Um, I also do have a Stampin' Up! website so you can go there and Again, you'd have to click on the shop tab. Um, but if you go to my blog, there'll be some creative inspiration there. I've got um, some tutorials there for sale as well. And my joining button is also there too. With If you click on the join button, it'll take you straight through um, to the link for joining my team. Now, if you are shopping with me, uh, please remember to use my host code. So this is my host code. Um, so with um, qualifying orders, I will send you a thank you gift. But with all orders, I do send you a thank you card. Now, I just realized that I forgot to change my grid paper and I still have my grid paper on the inches side. So remind me not to use that for measuring today or I'll be measuring everything in inches instead of centimeters. <laughs> It was one of the things I meant to do um, and I thought of it and then I thought oh no hang on I'll just do this other thing first and then of course um, yes well it didn't get done so <laughs> but that's okay all right so let's look at some of the gorgeous products from this suite now first of all I will show you the color um, the color combination that is in this suite so these are the gorgeous colors that are in this suite and this is the playing with pattern suite as I mentioned before so we've got um, whisper white purple posy um, coastal cabana uh, crushed curry um, oh my mind just went blank oh my goodness isn't that terrible when it does that I know this color Calypso Coral, that's the one I had to cheat. <laughs> Calypso Coral and Night of Navy. Isn't that funny? I know all of these colours and I just went completely blank then. I've been doing that a lot lately. <laughs> so they are the gorgeous colours that are in this suite. Now let me show you the designer series paper. So the designer series paper is in 6x6 six six pack. There's 48 sheets in the pack. So there's 24 designs that are all double-sided um, and you get two sheets of each one. So I have already pulled aside one group of papers. So let me just um, flick through some of these papers so that you can see them on camera. And then we'll flick over and you can see all the gorgeous patterns. There's lots of... Um, uh, like watercolor effect there's like crayon effect this one I think looks like crayon um, all these just great colors and patterns um, sort of different textures whoop I missed the last couple there I think um, and then on the other side we have all these ones as well. So there's some nice softer colors there as well. Love this one. This one looks like watercolor. Um, uh, yeah, it looks like it's done with watercolor. But yeah, aren't they fun? Really fun uh, papers. So that is, whoops. Oh, I think I've got a repeat in here. I think I've got a repeat. So maybe I'm actually thinking maybe there's, maybe I miscounted, maybe there's 12 double-sided and you get four of each. That might be what it is. I need to, I actually need to go through and count them individually. I was just overwhelmed by all the pattern when I opened this today um, that I didn't um, 
yeah, count the individual patterns. But anyway, you can see that there's lots and lots and lots and they are really fun colours, Sharon, you're right. Okay, so that is the paper. Then we have some coordinating um, resin dots. Now these are really interesting. These are different to the enamel dots and they're different to the, um, oh, excuse my, my Band-Aid by the way. Sorry, it doesn't look very nice, but um, I have a, a paper cut that was stinging and I was out a lot today sanitizing my hands everywhere I went. And every time I put sanitizer on, on my hands, I would just about go through the roof because it would sting that thumb. So I had to put a Band-Aid on. <laughs> um, yeah, so these are really great, these resin dots. I really, really like them. And they're sort of like a matte finish on them. They're not super shiny. Um, they're a matte finish. So they are really cool. Then we've got the coordinating ribbon and the coordinating ribbon actually comes in a combo pack of three ribbons. So this is the playing with patterns ribbon combo pack. Now, of course, in any of our suites, and this is an entire suite of products that I'm showing you, the playing with patterns suite, you can purchase any of these products individually or you can um, purchase them using one code. You can purchase all of the products in this suite um, together. Now with the ribbons, they do come as a combo. So when you order them, um, you get all three ribbons together. So I haven't opened them yet, as you can see. Let's open them now together and we can have a look and actually see the texture of these ribbons. I just love ribbons and embellishments. And most of you that watch me, regularly will know I always say on every card you need ribbon and bling. So this one's a purple posy and white. Oh, it's really soft. It's sort of like a, it's fairly sheer, but it's not an organza, but it's very, very soft. That's really pretty. That's very lovely. And then we've got our Knight of Navy. Oops. If I can get that plastic film. So the good thing about our ribbons is when you receive them, they have this plastic film which keeps the ribbon on the reel. Um, and you, as you can see, when you take that off, the ribbon goes everywhere. So this is a really light um, Knight of Navy. It's light in um, lightweight, not in colour. Yeah, the ribbon is really pretty, isn't it, Sharon? Oh, hi, Fee. How are you going? Great to see you here this afternoon. Thank you for joining me. So yeah, so you've got the different thicknesses. Now let's measure them. So the purple posium white one is, hang on, let me use, yep, yeah, this one. That is one and a half or 1.4 centimeters. So what is that? Half, uh, it's just over half an inch actually. It's just over half an inch. And then this little one, this one must be an eighth of an inch. Uh, quarter and a half, quarter, eighth. Yeah, that's an eighth of an inch. Or uh, 0.4 of a centimetre. Yeah, it's just under half a centimetre. So that's really nice. And that's quite um, a lightweight ribbon as well. Like really lightweight i think that'll tie really beautifully it'll tie beautiful bows and then this one i think i'm going to love this one the most out of the three this one's almost like an organza i think let's see oh it's a bit different to an organza oh and it's textured can you see the texture in there hang on let me lay it on the white cardstock so you can see the texture look at the texture in that can you see that on camera? That's gorgeous. And that's in the Coastal Cabana. Um, and this is a, a stiffer ribbon. I guess it's stiffer. Um, not quite an organza. It's not soft like an organza, but it is opaque like an organza, like see-through like an organza. But how cool is that? Love that. So that's beautiful. So they're the three ribbons. Now they're all going to want to fall off the rolls. <laughs> um, okay, and then we've got the stamp set and dies. 
So this is the pattern play stamp set that coordinates with this suite. Um, lots of fun designs on here and a couple of sentiments there. Now this is a photopolymer stamp set. Okay, so clear photopolymer stamp set. And um, yes, and it shows you um, here as well how to use your photopolymer stamp set. So there's always instructions inside your cases now which is really easy. And these just go on and off your blocks if you're not. Oh, no worries, Athena. Okay, no worries. Thank you so much. Great to see you. Um, yeah, so lots of fun textures here that would, you know, you can do so much with all those different textures. Um, I love this, cue the confetti. That is a great sentiment. And this one says, fill the day with all your guilty pleasures. Oh, I love that one. <laughs> How cool is that? And then here are the dies. So this is the Playful Alphabet dies. I'm just going to take them out of the packet so you can see them. So this is the Playful Alphabet dies. They do come, I will turn them over and show you in a moment. They do come on um, a white cardboard sheet that has adhesive on it for them to stick. And actually, each of the letters is outlined um, in black on that sheet so that you know where to put yours back so that and you also know if you're missing any because they're quite small and there's 58 dies on here but I have put mine on magnetic sheets in alphabetical order because that was just easier for me <laughs> and then you've got so you've got all the um, the alphabet letters all in uppercase and you've got uh, duplicates of some of the more um, commonly used letters and then you've got numbers as well how awesome is it to have number dies again and then you've got some symbols down here and then you've got some other letters as well um, from other um, languages um, so you've got your, your C with the little squiggle at the bottom I think is that from Greek language I'm not quite sure um, but yeah, so I'm really excited to have these. It's been a while since we've had lettering and numbering dies. These are quite a bit smaller than the ones we used to have, but they're a great size for card making. So we're going to use those today as well. And you can purchase these together as a bundle. So as I said to you earlier, if you are joining um, my team during uh, between now and the 30th of Sep uh, not September, 30th of June, um, during that joining promotion, you could get this bundle for free when you join, if you chose to. Or you can order, um, if you're um, ordering, you can order the entire suite um, together. Now the cardstock's not included in the suite. I just had that out to show you the colors, um, but all of these other products are included in the suite. Now there is one other product in the suite which I forgot to get out, which is our um, our mini paper pumpkin boxes. They are part of this suite as well. And oh, just where are they? I'm uh, just trying to think. Just trying to remember where I put them. Um, mm, 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 mm. Oh yes, let me grab one. I knew I had put them in a different spot because they're quite large and so they wouldn't fit up with my other packaging. But these are the mini paper pumpkin boxes. You get them in a pack of 10 and they come packaged like this. And then um, as you can see, they create a little box. I'll take one out. Sorry for the noise. Now, like our mini pizza boxes, these ones have a gloss finish on one side. So you can have that on the inside if you're using this to um, perhaps use for, let me just move all these other products while I do this because I don't want to damage the box. Um, if you're using this to send perhaps um, some yummies to somebody or you're making up a little gift box of some yummies for somebody, if you have the wax side on the inside, then you know if anything is oily that you're putting in there, if you're putting in cookies or chocolates or anything like that, then the oil won't seep through the cardboard because um, it's got this wax lining. So you just 
um, fold on all those scored lines. It's all pre-scored and everything for you. Just fold everything on the lines and they sort of go together, I think, a bit like a pizza box. So let me see if I can work this out on camera. Okay, so I think that one goes up like that and then this one goes in too. I haven't put one of these together yet, so let's see how I go. So that like that and let's fold those in to make them stay. Stay there little ones. And then the sides fold over like that. It's easier to do one at a time. And then you pop that in. These extra little bits just pop out. So that kind of interlocks there. You can see that there. And then we'll do the same with the other side. And they're such cute little boxes. And do you know what else these would fit in them? Not only would these fit yummy goodies or a small gift, they would also fit, or they do also fit, our, um, our, uh, blah, 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 what are they called? Our, our little cards. <laughs> See, I'm having a bad time at the moment with my memory. Oh, dear. So then that just pops in like that inside these pop in there and then that just slips in there and you've got a nice neat little box there we go and so then you can decorate that box up you can paint that box you can spritz that box with your um, with your um, inks you can do all sorts of things to decorate that decorate that up with your designer series paper and your um, embellishments your ribbon Put a sentiment on there whatever you would like um note cards thank you amber i was just about to grab them <laughs> yes so here are our little note cards in fact it's actually bigger than a note card so here are our little note cards i just thought i'd grab one out just to have a look and see so if you have a note card you might like to make up um, a set of cards for somebody. There's an envelope. You might like to make up some little cards to give to somebody and then you could package them up in the box and that would make a lovely little gift. There we go. See, they fit in there with a little bit of room to spare even. A little bit of room side by side to fit. So there you go. So there's our little mini paper pumpkin boxes. Uh, and as I said, they are part of this suite or you can purchase them individually. So isn't that a cute, that'd make a lovely little gift box. So I know that I'll be using those quite a bit. Okay, let's get on to our project for today. Now, I'll show you the colours that I have chosen or the patterns that I have chosen to use. So we are going to be using... Um, we're going to be having a Coastal Cabana, uh, no, not Coastal Cabana, sorry. We're having a base of Calypso Coral. See, this is why I'm tripping up because Coastal Cabana and Calypso Coral, yeah, too many of the same letters in there. <laughs> we're going to have a base of this one and then we're going to use um, some of this and uh, I love the design on this one. It just looks like the ink has been swiped across the, the paper, which I love. Like, like the baby wipe swipe technique, which I just taught my technique um, club recently, actually, the baby wipe swipe technique. It reminds me of that. And then I've got some coordinating um, patterns here that I thought would go. Now, I'm not sure exactly which one I'll use yet. But I've chosen those ones to play with. Oh, hi, Angie. You're going to catch the replay. No worries. Oh, only one hour sleep. Oh, that's no good, Angie. Go and have a rest. Yeah. I hope you feel better soon. Yeah. Take care, Angie. Um, yeah. So we're going to have those. Now, I also am going to be using my nested label dies as well. 
Um, so we, I've got those ones out to use as well. And we're going to die cut some of those letters. So let's go. Oh, and the other thing we're going to use is our small bloom punch as well. I'm going to use um, some of those flowers as the embellishing on this card. Um, with some of those um, awesome resin dots as well. All right, so I have already got my card base. Now this is just a half piece of a four card stock. So it is um, 21 centimeters by 14.85 and scored and folded at 10 and a half. Now I'm gonna have this card opening up this way. So yeah, the bloom punch is so cute, isn't it? I'm so glad that that one was carried over, Sharon. I really love it. Um, yeah, so it's going to be opening easel style like that. So we're going to have it in um, portrait landscape. A po uh, no, I just contradicted myself. Sorry. Landscape orientation. I need to think about what I'm saying before I rattle off with my mouth. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to cut a piece of um, this designer series paper. Now I know that I want my designer series paper going end to end, so I'll just need to trim off a little bit on one end. Um, and I want the design to be running down um, that way. And then our lettering is gonna go across this way. So I haven't um, pre-cut anything, because as I said, I have been out all day today and I only got home um, a short while before going live and had to quickly eat my lunch. So I didn't have time to prep this prior, but I know the direction I'm going, so never fear. <laughs> all right, so I am going to, um, I'm actually just going to work out before I do cut that down. I'm just going to work out which pattern I would like to have with this one. Now I'm thinking maybe a little bit of this one at the bottom. But not too much. I don't want too much. I just want a little accent of pattern. So perhaps that much there. Yeah, I think that will be cute. In fact, I might even do some of that top and bottom just to make it pop even more. Let's try this one. So that's that one. Let's try this one. And see, whoops. The pattern on this one is a little bit bigger and bolder. Um, so let's see with that one. Which one do you prefer, the larger circles or the finer circles? Which one do you think coordinates best? Let me know what you think. I like both, so I'm having trouble choosing. And the other one that I chose is exactly the same color as the base, so I don't know that that's gonna work because really, um, unless I had white in between there as well, which I could do. I could have white there too. So the larger one, Fee, you like the larger one? Yeah. Okay, I like the I like the larger one as well. Well, I like both. I'm quite indecisive today. So um, Fee says larger. What does everybody else think? Larger or smaller? Larger dots or smaller dots? Well, actually, they're circles. These ones are circles, these ones are dots. <laughs> so has anybody else got any larger? Chris likes larger as well. Yeah, great. Anybody else? Oh, you're waiting for yours to arrive, Fee. Awesome. You'll have so much fun with this set. It's so bright and um, colourful and fun. So we've got two votes for the larger one. No, Nobody else is voting. Anybody else want to let me know what you think? No? Okay. Well, I might go with the larger one then. Everyone else is very quiet. Okay. So I'm going to um, just work out how much I'm going to need. I only want a little bit of that one showing. So... In fact, I'm going to have a look. I'm going to turn it around because the pattern is different on each side. I'm going to turn it around till I get the pattern in. Oh, and Julie likes the small one. 
Ah, we've got three votes, two for the larger one and one for the smaller one. I think I'm just going to do like a really tiny little border like that. Yeah, that'll be great. Yeah. Okay, so I need to probably just cut one centimetre. Oh, let's see. I might do one and a half just so I've got some to play with. And then, yep, all right, so I'll bring in my trimmer. And we'll start with that one, and we're going to cut, just going to cut one and a half centimetre pieces so that I have, um, I have some room to be able to adhere um, that to the back of the other piece. So I'm using the measurement up, up here at the top. Can you see that there? Up the top there of um, my trimmer and I'm measuring at one and a half. I'm using the measurement on the right hand side of the, the um, cutting, um, where the cutting blade runs, cutting blade track, I should say. So I'll do two pieces of one and a half. In the track, right? Yeah. I've got something stuck down in my track. Let me just clean that for a minute. Just clean that with a piece of cardstock. I think I've got. We've been doing a lot of cutting, preparing for technique club. So sometimes we get a bit of extra cardstock down in the track, and then that stops the um, blade running smoothly. Let's try again now. That's better. That felt better. Okay. And then for this piece here, I'll just lay that there and just work out where I want this. Oh, I need to trim the um, width as well. So if I've got that there, and I think I'm going to put one at the top too. Oops. And then if we measure here, how much we'd like to have, that'll be about there. <laughs> Very accurate measurements. Let me work out what that measurement is and then I'll let you all know. Oops, get my pencil working. Now that pencil is not working. Let me get another one. It must have run out of lead. There we go. Okay, so let's see what we have there. Nine centimeters. There we go. So we're going to trim that one at nine centimeters. So this time I'm going to use the measurements on the um, left hand side and I'm just going to measure that at nine centimeters. All right, and I know that this piece, the base, should be 14.85 and it is, yep. So I'm going to just trim this one down to 14.85. I think I'll trim a bit of the Calypso Coral. So 14.85, there we go. So now that's nine centimeters by 14.85. And these ones are one and a half, and I'm just going to trim them at 14.85 as well. Just take off just a little bit. 14.85, there we go. They're really lovely colours, aren't they? Oh, you missed the vote, Sharon, did you? Ah, you popped away just at the wrong time. <laughs> That's all right. No worries. We had some other people that were voting, so we're going with the large dots. Okay. I don't think you can really go wrong anyway. I think any of them would have worked because obviously they're all from the same suite, so they're all going to coordinate. Um, and we've got all of those lovely colours in all of those papers. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to just going to line this up just to, to double check that everything is working 
and is the right measurement for what I need it. And then we can start adhering things down. But first of all, before we do that, we might decide where we're going to put the ribbon. Yes, so that will work well. All right, so it's a little bit, a little bit crooked, but I'll get that straightened up. Yeah, that'll be awesome. Look at that. <gasps> Such a fun card. Oh, hi, Jenny. How are you? Great to see you on here today. Jenny, I sent you um, a private message about Technique Club. So just make sure you check your messages later on as well so you don't miss that message. All right, yeah, that's going to be that's gonna be awesome. Look at that. That's going to be so much fun. Okay, now what we need to do is to cut our letters and we need to cut our, um, well, we might cut the letters first because I need to know the width that I need for my letters. Now, I know I'm cutting my letters in Knight of Navy. So let me pull out my dies. Just move my embellishments out of the way. And I'll bring out my dies. Now, I'm going to be die cutting the word thanks. So I need a T and oh, an H and an A, an H and an A. Wait, let's go this way so that I know I'm spelling it the right way. T. H, A, and this H in this um, in these dies is um, a little bit unusual. It's got a low, you know, the cross part on an H. It's low on the H on this one. So don't be worried. I haven't got it up the wrong way. That is the way that it goes. N, and then K, and S. Thanks. Mm, okay, so I might need to die cut my S down there a bit. So what I'm going to do is I am going to, I'll just make sure they're spaced out a little bit to be sure that they're going to cut out. And I'm going to run a piece of washi tape over those just to hold them in place while I put them um, through my die cutting machine. And if I can find my fine... Um, my narrow washi tape yes they are jewelry you you just jumped on you might have missed me showing them um so these are the whoops these are the playful alphabet dies um they're part of they're part of the playing with pattern suite and um, i've just put mine onto magnetic sheets they, they do come on a white piece of cardstock that has adhesive on them that they can um, be taken on and off, but I always like to keep mine on magnetic sheets. Um, yeah, and I've put them in alphabetical order. The sheet that they come on, they're not in alphabetical order, so they're sort of all over the place, but they are outlined on that other sheet as well, so at least then you know if you're missing any or where they all fit back on the sheet. Um, but I always just like to have mine on magnetic sheets, so... That's why, um, yeah, I've got them this way and they're in alphabetical order. So, yeah, so they are really cool. All right, so let me just grab my little washi tape. Hmm. Okay, my trolley had been moved, so I just had to find, I like using the thin washi tape for something like this. And I'm just, just to make it easy, and you don't have to do this. This is just going to make it easy for me to, to do this in a hurry. But you don't have to use the washi tape if you've got the time to sit and um, line them all up. But that will just help me to line them up. Now, the other thing is too, um, if you are actually cutting this out of a piece to use the negative space, such as if you were spelling out the word thanks, which you'd probably have to go that way, um, on a card size this this size 
a card piece this size. Um, using the washi tape to hold them in place is then a really good idea because it holds them exactly in place. You can line them all up perfectly so that when you cut them out, and in fact, no, I won't worry about it because I've done that now. Um, I was just thinking if I had have done it right the first time, I could have kept that to use as the negative space as well. Actually, I wonder if I can get them up. Oh, I can. Let's do that. Let's go this way. And let me line them all up because I'll do that and I'll show you what I mean. Because then we can save that piece for, and I'll move it down about here. And I'm using my grid paper to line that cardstock up. Let me just go over the top of my... Uh, move it up a little bit there and let's line these up really well so that then I later on I can use that negative um, piece on another project and then that way I'm not wasting cardstock too so line them up and I'll just grab my S unstick him There we go. And to make sure they're lined up, I'll use my ruler and my lines on my grid paper. And I'll just push them up like that and line them up with my ruler, making sure that they're all sitting on my ruler. I'm looking at the distance between them. Let's move these ones over a little bit so I've got equal distance between them. Maybe move that one. Actually, I'll come back this way a bit. Move that one over. A bit more. Oopsie. There we go. Okay, so then when you've got them lined up, nice and straight like that, then lay your washi tape over. Now, will that piece fit? <gasps> Just gently lay your washi tape over your letters. There we go, and you're ready to die cut. Okay, so let me bring in my Big Shot. Alrighty. So as most of you will know, this is our old die cutting machine. We have got our new die cutting machines coming very soon. Um, we're all excited and waiting in anticipation for our new die cutting machines. And I will certainly be announcing that as soon as they are ready. Now, as you can see, my top plate is very cut up. I need to get some new plates soon if the other machine doesn't come pretty soon. <laughs> we don't have an expected um, date yet on the new machine. Um, Stampin' Up! is still trying to get that all sorted, but they will let us know as soon as that is ready. So I'm just going to go second time through because I haven't cut with these before and so I'm not sure oh look at that can you see that my thanks came out perfectly onto the plate and that's the negative space there so let's take that off and I'll just remove that plate all right so I will gently move these just make sure they're not too stuck. There we go. So there's our letters. And now I'll brush this off of all the, um, the paper dust. And we'll remove, so we are, we're going to use these letters. We are using the individual letters, but I wanted to show you what the negative cutout looked like. All right, so then very gently release your washi tape. Just got to get that edge started. There we go. Just doing this really gently. And some of the washi tape has cut um, when it's cut the letters. There we go. Great 
cute so look at that so now I've got my thanks um, cut out that I can trim that down and I can use that now on another project so now I've uh, I haven't wasted any cardstock and I can use both pieces how cool is that so that is just showing you um, a little trick there with the washi tape and using your ruler to line up your letters um, so that you make sure that they're all perfectly aligned oops all right so I'm just trying to get all the washi tape off my letters now so that's probably the most difficult part <laughs> is removing all that removing all that um, adhesive back off there so does anybody else have these letter these die cut letters yet has anyone been playing with these already are there any other tips that anybody has um, to share with us about using these this is my very first time using them so and with these I do advise you to put them straight back onto your sheet because they are quite little um, and you don't want to lose them so, oh, you've got them, Sharon. Oh, you still haven't played with them yet. Oh, maybe you'll be inspired to get them out after today. It's so exciting, isn't it, when we get all these new products, but it's really hard to get around to using all of them. Like we get all these new products and we're like, oh, yes, I want to play with this and I want to play with that. And it's hard to choose which ones to play with first. Okay. All right. So I'm going to set that aside for another project. And today we're going to use this one. Now, I want to work out the size label I'm going to need to put these on. So I'll just lay them out there. And I think I'm just trying to work out with the S. Oh, no, there is a right way up with the S. So there is a right way and a wrong way with the S. You'll see. So this is right way up. And if I put it the other way you'll see that that bottom part looks um, smaller. So you'll know that you've got it up the wrong way. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to use one of these stitch label dies to put this on. And we just need to work out what size we're going to need. So if I line these up just roughly to get this, the um, width, or the length I should say to see what I'm going to need and then I'll bring out the labels no too small that one too small and it's going to be the next one up this one will they fit in this one oh maybe if I squish them up a little bit more they might fit Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to use my take your pick tool, my handy dandy tool. That's what it should be called. I'm going to use that to move the letters. There we go, because it's going to adhere to each of those letters and make it much easier to move them around. There we go. So if I have the letters really close like that, will that fit then? Oh, that will just fit. That will fit perfectly actually because it cuts a little bit bigger than that inside edge it actually cuts halfway between that inside edge and the outside edge so that will be the perfect one to use so that is the i think it's actually the second largest one so you've got the two um the two lots that nest in each other it's the biggest one of that smaller nested group i suppose because you've got the larger nested group and then the ones that start with a slightly smaller one so it was the largest one of those which I think in effect is actually the smallest label of all of the set um, hopefully that makes sense <laughs> oh you're gonna be definitely doing some playing soon Sharon great I can't wait to see what you make all right so I'm going to die cut this out of um, purple posy so I will just um, go and do that over at the big shot while um, save me bringing that back over because that'll be a really quick one so just give me a moment
Okay, here we go. Pop that out. And we've got our label. Beautiful. Okay, so let's see now how these will line up on our label. I feel like I'm all fingers and thumbs today. Trying to pick these up. All right, that's going to be great. All right, where's my little take your pick tool? Okay, so, whoops. So I want to have that um, roughly in the middle there and I'll show you what else I'm going to do with this label in a moment. Remember I had that little um, small bloom punch. I'm going to embellish this with that. And we want to use some of those beautiful ribbons as well. So, yep, beautiful. Look, that's going to fit just beautifully. Great. Okay. Awesome. So um, what we might do is, I'm just thinking, yeah, I think I want to, mm, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to run some ribbon around this piece. Let me just lay that on and just see how much room we're going to have. Because once that gets onto there, I don't think we're going to have a huge amount of room to play with. There we go. Yep, and bring that down a little, down a little, not down that much, <laughs> not down that much. There we go. Okay. Yeah, this is going to look awesome. All right, and then we'll add some of those flowers on there and um, the ribbon. Now, let's check the ribbon. Well, I really want to use this one. I really love this one. Oh, hi, Tracy. How are you? Oh, no worries. Yes, that's fine, Tracy. Sorry, I thought you were saying hello, and now I realized you were already on there. No worries. Thank you so much for being on here today with me. Um, yeah, so I think we could run that across there and then we could tie a bow and then what I might do is I'll lift that up a little bit higher, run that across there. Yeah. All right. Let's have a look what the other ribbons would look like on there. Okay. You lose that one a little bit. It does. It actually doesn't look too bad, but I think you lose it a little bit with all that bright color in the background although it does give a bit of contrast so and then that's our little our little fine one which that would look good too oh you could use any of them really couldn't you they all look great hmm okay i need a vote for ribbons i'm undecided so I love the texture on this one, but can you see enough of it? And what I was going to do is tie a bow and I'm going to adhere the bow um, separately or with this one, because it's quite stiff, I might even do a, um, a knot bow. So I do like that one. But what does everybody else think? The Coastal Cabana, the Knight of Navy. Oh, we could do Knight of Navy top and bottom, couldn't we? Or... Amber likes the navy or the purple posy. I think the night of navy pops more. The other two are very soft. I think, yeah, I'm thinking with amber actually. I think I like the night of navy. I think I like, you like the night of navy too? Oh, with the coastal cabana. Yeah, maybe. All right, let's have a look at those two together, Fee. So do you mean one on top of the other? Or do you mean side by side? If you put the Knight of Navy on top of the Coastal Cabana, you lose the Coastal Cabana because it's not that much wider. Um, and if you put them side by side, 
Yeah, I think I like the Knight of Navy better actually. I think it stands out more just on this um, pattern paper because the pattern paper is quite heavy or the, the um, colours on it is quite heavy. Um, oh, you're, you all agree with Fee, the dark one with the coastal. So one on top of the other. Chris thinks navy. Just do the bow in navy on the coastal cabana. Oh, that's different. Okay, let's try that. See how that looks. I'll do a little bow. Well, hang on, I think I've got too much. Too much of a tail there. Let's see. Definitely the navy fee thinks now. Yeah, I think it pops more. The other two are um, really very sheer ribbon. This Knight of Navy is a little bit heavier. If you put that on there. Mm, yeah, not sure. Not sure about that one. I think I'll go with the Knight of Navy. I do love this one. This is my favourite one. But I just think it's a bit too sheer for this pattern. It would go, it would go nicely on the white one, though, like the white-based ribbons. But uh, a bit, it's a, just a bit hard to see on these ones. Yeah. So I think that one would be good. And then we'll tie a bow. We could even do two lengths. Let's have a look. Could do two. What if we did two? Maybe we could do two. Yeah, that would be cool too. And then we could just have the one bow. We have a um, separate bow. All right, so what I'll do is I'll start um, putting this together. So what I'm going to do, um, I'm just going to cheat with the ribbon and I'm going to adhere it at the back. So I'm just going to cut the lengths to wrap around the back. Oh, everyone's saying navy now. Yeah, I think so. Because we're going to be adding the flowers as well. So maybe we'll only do one. We'll only do one length. And I'll tie a bow. And I'll adhere the bow separately this time. Over the top of that. And I think I'll just do one um, length of ribbon because we're going to we've still got to add the flowers too so I don't want it to be too um, too heavy with the ribbon because I want the flowers to pop as well I'm just going to leave those ends long for the moment and I'll trim them up later alrighty Okay, so I'm going to grab some glue dots and just use some glue dots behind the back of that ribbon on the back there. Let me move these other ribbons over to the other side out of the way. So we'll grab some glue dots. Um, and because this ribbon is quite fine, I'm going to fold the glue dot over in half. And I'm just going to pop that on one end of the ribbon and I'll attach that one and then we'll attach the other one now this is just being attached to designer series paper so remember designer series paper is lighter weight than your cardstock so you don't want to be pulling it too hard when you're wrapping it around like this um, because otherwise it's going to buckle your designer series paper there we go you stay there little one and we'll pop a glue dot on the other side. Let's pop that under the ribbon there. So just popping the glue dot on the end of the ribbon. And it's wanting to stick to me. Come on, there we go. Off you get. There we go. All right, and wrap that around. I'll just line that up and tuck that under. Oops. Tuck that under. 
hold that in place great okay so we've got that on there ready to adhere down now that'll sit down nicely once that's adhered all right so I'm going to go ahead now and just um, put my strips down and get my base all my base layers down first oh hey Laurie how are you all the way from Ohio again great to see you Laurie what time is it there in Ohio today I was talking about that to my husband the other day. I said, oh, I have a lovely lady who jumps on from Ohio. And he said, oh, wow, it would be really, no, what did he say? Really early or really, really early over there in the morning. So what time is it actually where you are right now, Laurie? I think I might have asked you this once before too, but I can't remember what you told me now. So I'm just using my old snail adhesive, which is now retired. But I, as I was saying at the beginning of my video, I haven't yet um, ordered my new stamp and seal because that's just become available. And I'll be popping my order in for that tonight. All right, so I'm just, whoops. Oh, I dropped that before I was ready. So I'm just leaving a little border there of the Calypso Coral. So that we can see that there. How's the weather over there at the moment, um, Laurie? You'd be, you'd be in your um, summer now. We've just gone into winter. And it's sort of, I don't know, it seemed to come really quickly, winter. But maybe that's because we were in lockdown um, for those few weeks and so once we came out of lockdown it's like oh okay now it's winter and it's cold <laughs> all right oh my goodness 3 18 a.m on monday and that's the time you wake up wow that's really early you must go to work really early in the morning do you there we go that will be awesome look at that that's going to be great all right so now we'll just lay down some so do you summer yeah it's a cool 76 fahrenheit okay who can let me know what 76 fahrenheit is in celsius because i'm i'm sorry but i do not know um fahrenheit it's been celsius for us all all of my life um they converted to metric before i was born so i'm not up with the um the imperial all the imperial measurements can somebody look up for me what 76 Fahrenheit is in Celsius? That'll give me a better um, understanding of Laurie's temperatures there. Just trying to get a little bit of adhesive there onto the back of that ribbon so that adheres down. So I don't want that to, um, I don't want to miss out the adhesive there on that part. I should have used my tear and tape. All right, so now we'll pop that one down. Oh, 24 degrees Celsius. Thanks, Laurie. Oh, that's a lovely day. That's not too bad at all. We actually, well, we're in our winter and I think today, so I'm in Western Sydney, so it gets a bit, um, we have the extreme of the conditions out here, so it gets really, really cold in winter and really, really hot in summer. But we're just at the beginning of winter and today it was a mild 21 degrees when I was out. So, yeah, later in the week it'll be warmer. Ah, oh, great. Yeah, we're heading into our, our um, cold season now. So it's going to be getting colder and colder for us. All right, so there we've got all our base down and we're going to pop that little bow on later. And in fact, I'm going to need to make that, because I've got that ribbon quite low now, I'll need to make that bow um, much smaller and trim those tails off quite a bit. But let's move that aside and we'll go on to our um, sentiment label here. Oops, got an extra bit of something there. So you're getting ready for work, are you, Laurie? Is that why you have to get up so early? Oh, thanks, Julie. Oh, Anthony said 27 to 28 at a guess. Yeah, Laurie just said it's um, 24 degrees Celsius. Yeah, she just um, gave me the, the conversion. <laughs> I'm not good with conversion. 
I love that we have Google nowadays to do all the conversion for us. Doesn't that make it so much easier? Alrighty, so I'm just going to work out where I want these letters to go and I'll just get them all straightened up and then I'll start adhering them down so then we can move on. Oh, you will be going to work, Laurie. Oh, well, thank you for watching me while you're getting ready for work. That's lovely. Alrighty. That sounds like you must be a shift worker if you are up at that time of the morning. <laughs> it's very, very early. <laughs> Julie says a bit of an over guess. <laughs> well, I think that's quite good doing it at a guess, Julie. I think he was it was not far off. So I think he was he did pretty well. John's our mathematician um, in terms of things like that so he always gives me all the um well actually all my kids are quite mathematical but um john's the the weatherman so he always knows what the conversions are of um the weather and things like he's really into weather actually i think he should have been a g i think he should have worked in um geography or something or been a weatherman on the news <laughs> All right, I'm going to grab my little pair of tweezers here um, to place these letters letters down. And I'm just using some of our um, Tombow multi-purpose liquid glue to adhere these down. And I'm starting with, release my tweezers. I'm starting with the, um, the middle letters first so that then I can space the other letters out and just trying to get them straight now I'm not too worried like I am trying to get them roughly in the center but if they're a little bit out I'm not going to panic because I am going to add some flowers so that will help to hide any um, imperfections in my measurements because as I just said maths isn't my strongest forte it's not one of my gifts maths creativity perhaps but not maths <laughs> Oh, so what does everyone think of the colours in this suite? Aren't they fun? They're really, really fun colours to play with. And um, I, when I got these colours out, I was showing my daughter Amber and um, she said, oh, mum, that would make like a great birthday. Like those colours to me look like a birthday card. And I'm like, oh, yeah, they would too. They'd be like really fun colours for a birthday card. But I'm doing a thanks card instead. <laughs> I couldn't fit birthday on this label. I could have fit B day, but I couldn't fit the word birthday. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to make a thanks card because I always need thank you cards. I'm always sending thank you cards to my customers. So I can never have too many thank you cards. There we go. All right, and we'll come back the other way now to our H. So how is everybody enjoying the new catalogue? Let me know. What's your favourite product so far? And I know our favourites often change too, but who can tell me their favourite product at the moment or their favourite product so far? I've got a few actually, but I think my favorites keep changing. Whenever I get more new product, I develop a new favorite. <laughs> it seems with each each delivery, I develop a new favorite. <laughs> I'm not sure if I've even got those completely straight. But oh, you love it, Laurie. Yeah, it's pretty fun, isn't it? This one really fun with all the colors um, oh it's not too bad it's a little bit out of whack but it's not actually too bad I'm using my ruler to to see how straight I've got it it's a little bit out but it's not too bad oh you can't wait to get the pets Lori yes they're so cute aren't they I haven't ordered those ones yet I'm still um, I'm still deciding I would like to get them, but I've got so many other things at the moment. I thought, oh, I better use what I've got first and then 
see if down the track I um oops I um order them but they're they are super cute and of course we have a Shih Tzu so I love the little Shih Tzu dog in the um, designer series paper it looks like our little Molly and um, so yeah of course I really love I really love that our forever greenery is Fee's favorite until she gets this one <laughs> yeah this one might become your new favorite Fee all right there we go so now we've got our label ready now I'm going to pop that label up onto dimensionals oh it's so fun look at that that's so cool Alrighty, let's get some dimensionals and I'm going to pop that up and then we will create our flowers. So I'll just move that back aside for a sec while I put the dimensionals on here. Let me use my take a pick tool. I find I get dimensionals down so much faster if I use my take a pick tool. I guess it's just what I've become accustomed to. I have to start a new sheet of dimensionals soon after I use all my edge pieces, of course. All right. Yep, that'll be great. All righty. Remove all those backings. I find when you're removing the backings this way with your take your pick tool, you can usually get about um, three or four comfortably on your take your pick tool. Let's go five. Oh yeah, I got five that time. Um, being able to pick them up that way. But then any more past that, it's sort of a bit hard to pick them up again because um, sort of like they, be, um, the point becomes a bit full of them and then you've got to put those ones in the bin and, um, and um, start again with the next lot. All right, so I am just going to pop that and um, I'm popping it in the middle between where the ribbon is laying and that top, uh, the top part of the striped designer series paper. Or thereabouts. Let's make sure our card is straight on our DSP for, I mean, on our grid paper first. So I'm not measuring it, I am just using my eye, and I've got to try and work out if I've got it roughly in the center side to side as well, which I'm not measuring, which I should. So it's just under two, and that's, oh, I did, just about. That's pretty close, pretty close. All right, there we go. Now, my ribbon is popping up just a little bit, so I'm going to um, pop some glue dots under there to hold that down. I'm just going to roll them over to make them small enough to pop down underneath that ribbon, and I probably only need, I probably only need one in the middle. Hopefully it won't be able to be seen through the ribbon, but we'll find out in a minute. And if it is, I can probably remove it. Oh, yes, I'll be able to see that. All right, let's remove that again. Because that ribbon is quite sheer. There we go. That's right. What I'm going to do is I'll pop it down underneath where I put my bow and that'll hold it, um, hold it in place. There we go. So often when I do this, I will put those panels down onto another piece of cardstock first before putting... The ribbon around and then that gives the whole thing a bit more stability as well um, but because I was doing the measurements on the fly today I didn't have that piece of cardstock um, pre-prepared but that is another option as well that you can do all right I think I'm still gonna wait for my bow well I could put my little bow down there I was thinking I might wait till I get my flowers on so I need to decide where my flowers are going to go all right so I've got, um, oh, where is it now? Let me see. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I've got all of my cardstock here, but I did have some smaller pieces cut, which I was going to use for the flowers. And now I can't see where I've put it down. It's here somewhere. I've probably set something else on top of it. I had some smaller pieces already pre-cut. That's all right, I can cut some of this. Um, now we haven't used any of the uh, crushed curry yet, so we'll definitely make sure we've got a crushed curry flour in there, I think. 
Um, we've got some Knight of Navy. We can use some offcut of our... Well, no, actually, we won't use... We won't use the um, Purple Posy because our label is Purple Posy. So that'll be hidden by that. So that's one colour we won't be using. But I love... This is one of my favourite colours. Coastal Cabana. I love, love, love Coastal Cabana. All right, and let me just cut some pieces of these other colours. I'll just cut some... Um, Cutting down some um, crushed curry. Just cutting them down into my usable pieces like I always do. And I'm going to cut this one in half as well, just so that I'm not wasting a whole heap of cardstock. I always like to cut everything down into usable sized pieces. Um, and then we've got our Calypso again as well, our Calypso Coral. We've got our Knight of Navy we can use. So what I'm going to do is I will trim that because I want to keep that sentiment for another project. So I will just, um, I'll trim that. Well, actually, it won't matter because I'll punch the flowers from the bottom part. So that'll be okay. And then we just need a piece of Calypso Coral. Okay, there we go. Alrighty. And I do have some Whisper White here too, but I kind of think with all the colours going on, a Whisper White flower might be a little bit boring. But let's just see. Let's see how we go with these colours. We'll start with that. So I'm just going to punch. I think um, I'll punch a few and see how many we can fit on there. I was thinking three on each corner, but there might not be enough space. So we'll just see. Um, and I need to decide on the colours as well. That's two. And my favourite colour... Coastal Cabana. Well, I guess it's one of my favourite colours. And, okay. So I love all those colours together. Don't they look awesome? Um, so let's just go with these ones to begin with. Because the Knight of Navy we've got in the sentiment as well. So I'm thinking just these other three perhaps. Yes. I think those three colours will go. All right, so let's just punch out another one of those. And I'm, again, um, if you missed it before, I'm using the Small Bloom punch, which was carried over from Celebration, thankfully, because it is a great little flower punch. See how they just pop out of there? <laughs> I love that. Okay, I'll put that little Knight of Navy one away. Alrighty, now I'm going to shape these flowers before I do anything else with them. I'm going to give them a little bit of shape. So I'll bring in my foam mat. Now our foam mats or our stamp and pierce mats as they're officially called, these have been carried over but you won't find them in the annual catalogue. Um, Oh, yes, Julie. Great idea. Julie just said that the, um, let me get it out. Um, the thanks that I die cut out, so we've got the negative space there. You could use that as a stencil to um, sponge your ink through um, to create um, another, another word, like on another project. So you could use that as like a stencil. Great idea, Julie. Awesome. Fantastic. Oh, you love bumblebee, do you, Laurie? Awesome. Well, we're using, um, we're actually using crushed curry today because crushed curry is in this suite, but the bumblebee is a lovely colour as well. Quite similar, quite close to um, crushed curry, but just a little bit uh, lighter, I think. Um, all right, so let's get our stylus... Uh, no, not that one. I'll take that end off and we'll get our... I just realised I need to clean my 
spatula end of my take your pick tool again and I'm going to get my stylus end and put that into my take your pick tool and I'm just going to gently press and swirl in the center of these flowers because I want those little petals to pop up all right so you just give them a little swirl and let them pop up swirl 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 and I'm using the larger of the two um, stylus ends as well the smaller one will actually cause the um, the cardstock to um, bend a bit more rather than actually form up nicely it'll actually uh, sort of like crease it it's great for scoring the final one is great for scoring um, if you're scoring but um, if you're shaping then the larger always the largest size is um, great for shaping now I'm looking for my cap there it is I'll pop my cap back on there all right so I've got my little flowers there now all shaped ready to go and now we've just got to work out the placement and I've got to I keep leaving my ribbon there so that I don't forget about it okay so let's have a look and see how these could lay could have some down low and one raised up now we've got um got to be careful of where the colors are lining uh, laying on your designer series paper too because you don't want to put color on color on your designer series paper because then you'll lose it so we could pop two down there and one up there perhaps that would be cute and then on this side we've got or we could do the same or we can change the colors up a little bit and do just mix them up a little you can have them even tucked under the edge there if you wanted to or we want to still be able to see our word thanks so have to make sure that they're sitting there that would be great we could do it like that okay so we'll have two down flat and one up on the card um, I'm going to use some of my multi-purpose liquid glue again and I'm going to start with the ones that are up on top first so I'm just putting a little bit of um, Tombow on the back of that flower and just pop that down there being sure that um, you can still see the the letters on the words there okay and I'll do the same with the crushed curry and then we're going to use some of our little um, gems or they're not called gems what are they called resin dots for the centers of our flowers so I thought they'd be pretty cute there we go and then these other two flowers Oh yes, this little box, Laurie, was made for me by one of my beautiful team members. Um, it's a really, really clever little box um, for storing your take your pick tool and all your additional little um, bits and pieces. And I've got some spare putty heads there. Um, yeah, so she made that for me as a gift, which was very lovely. <laughs> And this is some of our old DSP, which I absolutely loved when this DSP was um, available. I really, really loved that, that um, DSP there. Okay, so we'll pop these little ones down here. And I'm just going to have them so that the petals are sort of going up onto the um, meeting up with that other one up there. Bring that down a little bit. And the good thing with the multi-purpose liquid glue, as most of you probably already know, is you've got that bit of wiggle room. So if you want to move them around a little bit, um, then you've got that opportunity and time to be able to do that while that glue is still wet. Um, so I'll use that end again. There we go. So you can just manoeuvre those however you want to have your petals. I like to kind of have them overlapping a little bit. All right, and then we'll do these ones at the top. 
Oh, you're loving it? Great. Thanks, Laurie. Oh, you love the box or the card? <laughs> Hopefully you're loving both. But yeah, the, the box is great. Um, I think she got the pattern somewhere online. I can't remember. She did tell me. I just can't remember um, what she where she told me she got it from. The pattern for the box. So we'll bring that one up and overlap those two a little bit. Just using that stylus again to push those flowers down till that glue dries a little bit there. And just maneuver that one around a little bit. Both. Ah, oh, thanks, Laurie. <laughs> yeah, she did a great job with the boxes. She made one for herself as well in um, different DSP. So we have matching boxes. All right, so now we'll bring in our little playing with patterns resin dots. All right. Oh, hi, Rose. I just saw you. Uh, you're going to watch the replay. Okay, no worries. You've had a busy afternoon too, have you? Yeah, I've had such a busy day today. I've been running around all day. Um, until obviously my live, but yeah, up until that point, I was pretty much running around all day too. Some days are just like that, aren't they? All right, now the question is, which colours do we use in the middle? Do we go with our maybe, or do we use our alternating colours? So we've got yellow and well I think we could I think we could use all of them actually. So let's go with the coastal cabana on the crushed curry. That's cute. And then we'll go with the crushed curry on the calypso coral. And then, oops, that one's glue dot is coming off. Oops, oh, because I spiked it with my take your pick tool. Let me just fix that up. Yeah, I spiked it and pushed the glue dot off. <laughs> there we go. And then we'll use the purple posy on the Calypso Coral. I mean, on the, oh, here I go again. <laughs> Coastal Cabana. There we go. And now we need to add our ribbon. How cute are those flowers? And then if you want the petals to pop up a little bit more, you can just, um, oh, thanks, Sharon. If you want those petals to pop a bit more, just give them a little tweak with your fingers to just lift them up because they've already got that shape. But um, sometimes when you're placing them down, they do flatten out a little bit. But you can easily just um, prise those little petals back up again. There we go. All right, and now we've got our little bow. So I think our bow could go on that side with the flowers, actually. Or should it go on that side? I think it's... Mm, oh. What does everyone think? Very cute. Thank you, Fee. Thank you, Laurie. I actually think I, actually think I like it on this side with the flowers. Yeah, I think I like it there with the flowers. I think I'm going to pop it down there. And then I'll trim up the end. So I'm just going to use a little glue dot to pop that on. I'm loving these colours. They're just so fun. Yeah, over there with the flowers, Fee. Yes, yes, we're in agreement. Awesome. Yeah, I think so too. I'll pop that down. Move it over a little bit. There we go. And we'll trim the ends of my ribbon. I'll have little short ends this time. Whoop. And put them in line with the... Let's pull that one out a little bit more. Give that one a little bit more of an angle. I didn't quite get the angle right on that one. There we go. And now I can pop a little glue dot underneath the ribbon where that bow is to hold that steady. I just love these glue dots too. Glue dots are the best. And I'll just pop that under there. 
to hold that all in place. And we've got our little tiny bow with our cute little flowers. And then what we can do, let's grab our Wink of Stella and give our flowers a little bit of... Oh, you like it a lot, Chitska. Thank you. I think I want my flowers to be a little bit blingy. So I'm going to come in with my Wink of Stella. And because, you know, every card needs ribbon and bling. And I know that we have the little resin dots, but because they are a sort of flattish finish on them, or they are a flat finish, we can just add the bling with our Wink of Stella and just bling bling up our little flowers. So another thing that you could do too, before you put your flowers down, is you could mix up some rubbing alcohol with some of our um, shimmer white, um, shimmery white, um, 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 what do you call it, ink, um, inky painty stuff. I can't think what it's called right now. <laughs> You'll all know what I mean. Um, and actually spritz the flowers with that as well. That would look really awesome too. I'll give them some shimmer. There, oh, that looks better. That looks better. Now they're all sparkly warkly. Love a bit of sparkle. Let's do the other ones. So I hope you all really like this suite. It's really cool. Do you know when I first looked at the catalogue when we just had um, the PDF? Because um, as demonstrators, we get to see the PDF um, before the catalogue is actually released fully to us. I sort of looked at this one and thought, oh, I don't really know that I would use it. Like it's nice, but I don't really know that I would use it or how I would use it. But now I've got it, I love it. I knew I'd use the alphabet dies. I just wasn't sure about the DSP, but now that I have it, I think just seeing it sometimes in person makes such a difference when you see these beautiful papers in person rather than seeing it, you know, just on paper in um, the catalogue, really makes a difference. Um, oh, Wink of Stella is one of your favourite things to use, Sharon. Yes, I've seen you use it a few times too. Me as well. I love it. For a while there, I didn't get it out for a while. And then um, I actually think you inspired me to get it back out, Shazza. I saw you using it and thought, oh, I need to get that back out again. But I do love it. I love a bit of bling. I used to use it a lot. There we go. Gorgeous. Done. Oh, you like it, Fee? Great. There we go. Now, hopefully the camera will show up the bling there on the on the um, flowers. Let me bring that light in a bit more. Hopefully you'll see that bling there on the flowers in the camera. Not sure if it's picking it up or not. If I move it that way, perhaps. But yeah, it really adds, um, really makes it look different with the, the bling there on the flowers. It just really makes them um, pop with that shimmer. It's really pretty. There we go. So there's my little card today. I hope you all really enjoyed that. So remember to look for those products in your catalogue. Let me just bring in the catalogue for a moment and I'll show you. So it's the Playing With Pattern Suite. Um, hopefully you can see that there. It's the Playing With Pattern Suite and you can find it on pages 100 to 102 in your annual catalogue. And there's lots of samples in there too. So if you, if you get it and at first you think, oh goodness, I'm not really sure there's so many patterns going on, case something from the catalogue. There's so many projects in there to case from the catalogue lots and lots of different ideas to get you going and then once those creative juices start flowing I am sure that you will um, take off with with lots and lots of ideas now I didn't use the stamp set today um, because I used the dies instead but there are lots of fantastic um, patterns and there's those um, little sentiments there as well cue the confetti and fill the day with all your guilty pleasures um, yeah, so that's a really, really fun stamp set. So let me just flip the camera up. There we go. There's my little card. 
I'm very happy with how that turned out. And yes, I'm glad that we chose together that um, Knight of Navy ribbon. Oh, thank you, Chris. Thanks, Sharon. All right, so let me cover up the camera and I'll just flick it up so that I can say goodbye to you um, face to face because I always like to do that. So let me just cover up the camera for a moment and I will just flip that around. And it's telling me that my battery is low, so that is really good timing. But I'm not sure if, hang on a minute, let's close that and flippity flip, and I'll plug in. There we go. Oh, I forgot to adjust my lights. I'm in the half dark. Hang on a sec. I'll get some light on the subject so I'm not sitting in the dark. There we go. Adjust that up. And we are all good. Great. There we go. And I, pl I quickly plugged in my charger then too. So because it wasn't letting me flip my cameras until I clicked on OK with, um, yeah, about my charger. <laughs> so, so there's my card. Hope you really love that. And um, yeah, that's a lot of fun playing with that suite. I can't wait to do some more with that suite. It's really cool. Um, if you would like more information about anything that I have talked about today, any of the products that I've shown today, um, please feel free to get in contact with me. Thanks for all the hearts, guys. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, so if you've got any questions about anything um, that I've talked about or that I've used today, please get in contact with me. Send me a private message and... Um, that would be awesome. Now remember that we've got that fantastic uh, joining offer at the moment with your starter kit. So when you purchase your starter kit, you can choose $235 worth of product, only pay $169 for it, get free shipping, and then on top of it, you can choose a bundle for free of your choice. So a stamp set and die bundle or a stamp set and um, punch bundle, any of them you can choose any of them that you would like for free so um, the highest price one I think is $104.25 from memory so if you wanted you could choose that one and get it for free and then after that once you have joined with Stampin' Up then you get 20 to 25 percent discount on all of your future purchases so you can become a what do we call it Sharon uh, a happy discount shopper yeah, and we all love that, don't we? Especially with all those crafting supplies that we always need. <laughs> so thank you all so much for joining me today. Thank you for interacting me and thank you for helping me to make the choices about the paper and the ribbon. Um, that was really helpful. And I love it when you interact with me like that. It makes it so much more fun. Oh, you're very welcome, Chris. I hope you all have a great week this week. Um, yeah, and as I said, thank you very much for joining me and I look forward to seeing you all again. Yes, happy discount shopper. <laughs> That's right, Sharon. Um, and I hope to see you all again next week. Um, I do hope to be on on Thursday night again if I can be at 7pm. Um, I'll see how I'm travelling by Thursday evening. Uh, but um, yes, but otherwise I will be back um, next week on Monday. So until then, have a great week, everybody. And remember, happy crafting. See you later.